Alabama. The postseason is away here in Christchurch as Stephen Brett gets things happening and already a mistake from Hawks Bay and Canterbury looked to pounce early through Lalo and now Maitland has a chance right for the only kick off and a knock on that could have been a dream start for Canterbury not to be it was a great kick by Stephen Brett height versus distance equation on the mark Hawks Bay unable to secure as we see it again and quick hands okay, play on. by Lalala, good long pass, Maitland at speed, and boy, there's a chance gone begging. Canterbury haven't managed to get sustained possession so far in this first half, eight and a half minutes gone. And that's a towering bomb. And Israel Dad can't hold on, so here's a chance now. And you bet he can. Sam Whitelock. Pressure on. Great pressure by Tim Bateman. And this is a superb pass by Tyson Keats to find George Whitelock. And he was just a bit quick. Had the angle on Sam Whitelock, I should say. If Hawks Bay don't beat them on the ground first. George Nalapu again. Climbs high for Hawks Bay. His 20th take of the season. A line out of time and it's a charge down. Chance here for Isaac Ross. Over the line. And the try is given. Isaac Ross scores for Canterbury. And it's a great time to score as well. Here comes Chris Eaton. Yeah, well onside. So Eaton went forward to kick instead of sideways, which a halfback should do. Let's watch him. He just, well, wasn't bad really to be fair, but it just took a little bit of time. And Patterson was on to that. Ross as always in support. Try scorer. Keats. Rex standing deep and this one goes wide. Slade again. Throws a dummy and takes off Colin Slade. But this time he's dumped on his head by Tama Lolo. Expect more. Yeah, Time off. Oh, this might be a little bit more than a chat, I think. Ain't the ruling here. And the ref's got no choice. I, I rather felt the way the rules have been asked to be refereed. He didn't have a choice. Okay, it's a lifting tackle and you've let him down carefully, so you're away with the higher sanction. Okay, just be more careful. Well, I tend to agree with you, Foxy, but when all is said and done, he's probably dodged a bullet here. He did lift the player. Actually, yeah, another lock. In slow motion, of course, we get that benefit. It's while it didn't do any damage to Colin Slade, he was a bit lucky, Tomalolo. It's just a technique that has no place in the game, and the players know better, and I think in a contact like that, he had no excuse. Mm -hmm. Up to the 22 now, Hawks Bay, and still full of running. Elliot, Newland can't hold on. So the advantage goes to Canterbury, and they're going to run it. Here they go, Canterbury through Maitland. He's got no one in front of him. Shut the gate, Sean Maitland, surely. Inside ball, and that is a great try, Canterbury. And how critical will that be in the semi final? Stephen Brett dumps down. There, look at just look at how condensed Hawks Bay were on the right hand side. Good ball by Stephen Brett. Boy, Maitland's got some wheels, we know that. But Stephen Brett had the presence of mind to keep support on the inside as Israel Dan closed down Sean Maitland. Great counter attack try, Smithy. Oh, brilliant work from Canterbury. Second final in a row. Indeed, this time it'll be at home. Last year, of course, they played Wellington in Wellington. So line out will form if we do have time, and we don't. So Canterbury, as they have done so often in the past, work their way through an New Zealand Cup season all the way to the big show. And they will face either Wellington or Southland next weekend right here at AMI Stadium for Hawks Bay for the third straight year. They are beaten semi-finalists. And to say they are dejected does not say enough.